But then you also said rainbows, okay? And um, we don't look a lot at FPV Angel, right? And they just put up a new video last week that was very intriguing to me. It was a short video and they titled it Operation Rainbow Warrior. And they had this amazing animation that they had, you know, he, he's really good with graphics. And he was kind of showing how you can use rainbows to, if you can figure out certain, the location of like where they start and end and use those coordinates, like you can figure out where the particle accelerators or the angels are because it is the reflect the, the rainbows occur in places where they're reflecting what's going on underground. And according to them, obviously, from their ongoing narrative, that the system or the machine or whatever is inside the earth is like the, the activation is happening now. It's a 400 year cycle of it being more active and then dormant and whatever. And it's being highly activated right now. And so there's like a lot of rainbows, right? Because the thing it's being used, a lot of sun dogs, a lot of these kinds of things that we look in the sky and go, wow, that's amazing. So they had, in this, this video, it was short, I'll, I'll attach it here. Um, they had said that like in certain, like in the middle of these or like, to, you know, with certain coordinates around this, once you figure it out, there's generally like old churches that are like, you know, you're sort of Tartarian or mud flood kind of buildings or state capitals or certain special buildings or, or uh, museums or things like that that are sort of special or kind of central to this location. And I thought, okay, like maybe, but also I would add to this from uh, for our conversation last week, maybe baseball fields, baseball stadiums, and like the weapons companies that are like, you know, like Boeing and Rocketdyne when they're under the ground in some of these locations, that that might be something that is there as well. Um, and it also matches up to all of the talk about over the rainbow and Oz programming and things like that with, my, with, with MKUltra and said things, right? And so this name Operation Rainbow Warrior kind of really appealed to me. And this idea that we can like actually use things, we can measure an experience to figure out where these things are, right? And start to understand how that system goes. Because I'm going to try it. I'm going to go see because I like this stuff. I'm really good at the spatially, uh, the spatial and particularly with like uh, non-material things like a rainbow or seemingly non-material. So I'm uh, uh, that that you've, you've piqued my interest with those two things. So they're it. trying to collect people's experiences to figure out where the 144,000 of these would be. They, 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 there's, there's information on some of these locations of particle accelerators, but they're knowing that there are more. So if people go out and are able to take photographs or video that match up to certain specs that they have figured out that are like for sure. Ah. Thing while we're on the rainbow thing, because it was the first thing that popped into my mind when you mentioned seeing more rainbows this year than you had before, Michael. And then Emily, when you tied it into buildings, it all just came together. I went to Telluride this summer. Have you guys been to Telluride? No. So Telluride is teeny tiny and it's basically one main street. Like literally there are a couple like offshoots, but there's the one main street and you know, all the buildings lining the main street and it goes into this mountain range and this beautiful waterfall. When I was in Telluride, I saw the brightest, most saturated rainbow I'd ever seen. It seemed fake. I'm like, I've never seen such a rich rainbow. And I was with two other people who had the same thought. And then what I immediately leapt to was the Masonic temple in Telluride because it's such a small, tiny town, but the sign is really large and prominent on this one street and it's rainbow and disco-y and like, just it's such a rainbow, different rainbow disco-y free masonic sign yes and that's what i was looking for as you were talking emily and then when you tied it into the buildings i'm like okay this is nuts i've never seen a masonic sign like this it looks like it's like like if an eight-year-old bedazzled it it makes that perfect is... sense to me it makes perfect <laughs> sense to me 